Hey Kickstarters, I'm Chris, and this is Dan. Together, we're Ninth Level Games. You may have heard of some of the stuff we've done. Ninja Burger, Cthulhu for President, War Hamster. But today, we're here to talk to you about um, our baby. Kobold's Ate My Baby, the beer and pretzels role-playing game. All hail King Torg! Surrounded by kobolds. Slim pickings. Ugly little monkeys, but they taste like chickens. Starving, hunting, gathering, scavenging cadavers scattered throughout this labyrinth of caverns with chicken bone medallions, magical talisman, spiked iron implements for battle and pretty spit fire with force. Play sports with your corpse for King Torg. Oh, hey, King Torg. You better say a prayer to pour. Get bored in a fork. Orange gorge in your pork. It's all meat. Make a rope roast out your butt cheek. Don't waste a piece from the feet to the teeth. Remember and pillage in the village when all the ladies go crazy saying, Kobolds ate my baby. All hail King Torg. So what the heck is a kobold? Kobolds are furry little monsters that have a long and storied tradition in role-playing games. Mostly, they get murdered in mass so that an adventurer can reach level two. Way back in the 90s, we asked some hard questions. Like, how do kobolds survive? And why do they even think they can tangle with humans? They always die. Always. And then it hit us. Kobolds must be more afraid of their god and their king than any old human. And of course, humans are really, really tasty. Especially babies. But we set out to make a game where you played the weakest, silliest, dumbest bad guys ever. Kobolds ate my baby. Over all these years, Kobolds has gained loyal fans for being a fun, funny, and fast RPG that's focused on a gameplay experience that's not like anything else. Specifically, you roleplay the short and brutal life of a tiny, furry, omnivorous, baby-eating creature. When we started out, the book was printed on an old photocopier and stapled together with bright orange paper covers. Don't get us wrong, it didn't need more than that, it was just a silly little game about Kobolds. People were hungry. Pun totally intended for a new game experience, and they didn't have to be big hardcover books from big publishers. We were just making funny little RPGs that no company in their right mind would ever publish. So we didn't even try. We just made the games we wanted to play and sold them to people at conventions. Before we knew it, it just caught on, and since then, thousands of rabid kobolds all over the world have enjoyed burning down towns, dying random horrible deaths, like getting squashed by a cow falling out of the sky, and serving a king who was cruel, random, and very, very hungry. By the mid-2000s, kobolds was an established game with a loyal following, and with the help of gamer comic folk hero, John Kovalik. Hey, where is John? Uh, I think he's at home in Wisconsin. Oh, uh, right. Hey, Chris and Dan. And everybody else, hi. My name's John Kavalik. I'm the cartoonist behind Dark Tower, Munchkin, Apples to Apples, My Little Cthulhu, and also Kobolds Ate My Baby. I really love working with these guys. I love drawing these little balls of furry fun. And though I'm normally against baby eating, I gotta say, I really hope you take a look at this Kickstarter and help us to create the greatest version of Kobolds Ate My Baby ever. Thanks. Thanks, John. We miss the Kobolds, too, and we're excited to get the band back together. So what are we trying to do exactly? Why Kickstarter? It's been a few years since Ninth Level has published any games, and the world of games publishing has really changed for the better. For the last few years, Kobolds has been out of print, and we never want to see that happen again. We recently put out a PDF version of the Super Deluxe Edition, and we were delighted at the reception. But there's new fans, and they've all been asking for a real book. So here's our chance. We talked with John Kovalik and we talked with fans and we realized that with a little bit of help from all of you, we could do more than just make a book. We could do the best edition of Kobolds Ate My Baby ever. Kobolds Ate My Baby in color. Over the years, Kobolds has been produced in a number of editions. The classic first edition. The third edition, the Super Deluxe Edition, the German language, Kobolde, Der Konigtorg, a number of bootlegged 
uh, Russian editions, a simple PDF version, and of course the much aligned, now infamous second edition Advanced Kobold's Big uh, Box. We don't want to talk about that. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. But now, the best edition ever, Kobold's Ate My Baby in color. Color! In color! <laughs> So, you can read all the details of the project below. You can check out the Cole Rewards. I think they're on this side. Mm -hmm. uh, or they're on this side over here. But uh, So, you can read about the project below. And you can check out all the Cole Rewards. There's some fun stuff. And we hope that you'll join us in trying to make this happen. Once we get Cobalt's back in print and in glorious color, we can focus on putting out new content, some of which might already be completed, and be listed as stretch goals all the way at the bottom. So, thank you all in advance. May your babies be plump, your deaths be spectacular, and may the big red god never notice the unspeakable thing you did to his slippers. All hail King Torn.